Good day all and welcome once again to my channel. This time we are going to be having a video lesson on movement responses in biology. Many students they find this aspect of biology very confusing. So the thing is this, stay glued to this channel as I run through the series of the three movement responses that creates issues for students. So it's my hope that immediately after this video lesson, you should be able to distinguish among these three movement responses. So on the board, we are having tropism, taxism, and nastism. These are the three main movement responses of living organisms. So what I will do is this. To make this simplified, I will differentiate these three movement responses using two parameters. And what are the two parameters? The first is, is it that the movement response is directional or non-directional? What do I mean by directional or non-directional? Please pay attention. When I say a movement response is directional, it simply means that it's either the organism is moving towards a stimuli or is moving away from the stimuli. That's what it means by directional. Then what about non-directional or undirectional? What that means is that the movement response is not towards or away from a stimuli. Meaning it's just giving a response without moving towards or moving away. All right? So that's what it means by undirectional or non-directional. So among these three, which ones are directional? We have tropism. Tropism is directional. Taxism is directional. But nastism is undirectional. Or you can call it non-directional. I've explained that already. Then, what is the other parameter? The other parameter is, is it that the entire organism is moving towards the stimuli or away? Or is it that a part of the organism is giving the response? So now, when a part of the organism gives a response, then it means it could either be tropism, which is part, or nastism, which is part. But if it is the whole of the organism that is giving the movement response, then it is under the taxism, which is tactic response. All right? So this is whole. So when the whole organism gives a response, it's under the taxism or tactic movement. Then why this one is also called nastic. Why this one is called tropic. So please take note of this. This is called tropic. This is called tactic. And this is called nastic. All right? So in case you see it in exam, know how to tackle it. So these are the, three, the two parameters, rather. We have the directional, directional, undirectional. Then we have part, whole, and part. Now, let me break this thing down. When I say that an organism is going in a directional manner, and then it is moving a part of its body, what does that mean? Let me give you an illustration. For example, let's say we have a plant that is growing in this direction. And then, let's say it is placed in a box. Of course, you know that a plant cannot actually grow in a box. Why? Because there is absence of light. But then, let's just assume that this plant is growing. And then, you now create a crevice or a hole in the box. And then, you now have sunlight somewhere around this region. Now, there is every tendency of this part of this plant to tilt towards the sun. Why? It is actually giving a response towards the sun. And are you aware that this plant part is actually shoot that is giving the response and not the root? Let's just assume that this is the root. Now, as a matter of fact, the roots, they grow away from light. They don't love light. But the shoot, they grow towards light. 
So is it the whole organism that is growing towards or moving towards the sunlight? Of course, it is not the whole organism. It is a part, which is the shoot. So since it is a part of the shoot that is actually growing towards light, then it is part. Then next, the stimuli that the part is growing towards is light. And light is what? Is photo. Photo represents light. All right? And then, would you call it tropism or would you call it taxism or nastism? Let's confirm something. Remember we said that it was a part of this plant that was tilting or growing towards or moving towards the light, which is part. So it could be either tropism or nastism. Remember, our two parameters, part and part. So this one is out of it. Then next, was it a directional response or a on, an undirectional response? Let's confirm. Remember I told you guys that what we say a response is directional simply means it's either it's moving towards or it's moving away. But when this is undirectional, it's just giving a response without moving towards or away. But considering this part that is moving, it's moving what? Towards. Meaning that there is what? Direction. So hence, it is tropism because there is direction. Hence, you call it phototropism. All right? So a part is moving towards what? Light. But mind you, I did not explain this. When you have a movement response towards a stimulus, then you can call that positive. So when it is towards a stimulus, it's called positive. But when it is away from a stimulus, it's called what? Negative. Please take note of that. Towards, positive. Away, negative. All right? So since this is a part of a plant moving towards, that should be what? Positive. All right? Because it's towards. Then what is this moving towards? It's moving towards what? Light. That is photo. Is it the entire organism that is moving towards the light or a part? A part. That's what? Tropism. You get the point now? So this is called positive phototropism. What did I say about the, the roots of plants? The roots of plants, they dislike light. So it means they, when light is, is towards the root of a plant, the root moves away from the light. So moving away from the light, remember it was the root of the plant that is moving away, which is a part of the plant. So hence, I can say that a part is moving away. So which one has past parts? Tropism and narcissism. Then away simply means there is direction. So this one is out. Already we focus on this. So away from light. Light is photo. So can I say that plant roots, they exhibit what? Negative. Negative what? Photo. Photo what? Tropism. Why? Because the root is a, a part of a plant. And then it is giving a response to light, meaning moving away from it, which is negative. And of course, light is what? Photo. And since it is part, is a part, then it should be what? Tropism. So that's how it works. Then, let me now explain something with regards to um, nastism and taxism. Now, imagine you have a cockroach. There was a time in Jam that they asked this question. They said, the movement response of a cockroach away from light is known as dash. The movement response of a cockroach away from light is known as dash. It came out in Jam 2016. One of the questions asked in biology. Away from light. And there was, these were the options, photonastism, that's positive photonastism. Then B, there was negative, yeah, there was negative photonastism. Then C, there was positive phototaxis or taxism. The same thing, then there was negative, negative photo taxism. So, 
which would you go with if you are confronted with options like this like i said the movement of a cockroach away from light now the first thing you have to do is this away from light simply means that there is what there is a directional response remember i said for directional it could be towards or what away so since there's away from light away simply means negative so it means this positive and positives they are out so we are left with negative negative because it's away from light and now remember that you can never have a direction for narcissism the reason is because narcissism is what undirectional so it's not you, you do not have anything like towards or what away so hence this negative photo narcissism is out already so we are left with negative photo narcissism but let's confirm whether it's correct now away from light is what negative that's one then next share it was light that the cockroach was giving a response to that should be what photo which is light then the cockroach that is running away from light is that is that the whole of the organism of the cockroach that is running away or just a part of the cockroach running away is the entire cockroach that is running away from it so hence it is what whole so hence it falls under what taxism so the correct option is option d negative photo taxism you could even be having an amoeba for example let's say you are having an amoeba an amoeba of course you are aware that when you have okay let's just draw an image of an amoeba let's say this is our image of amoeba and then you have water when you shine light strong light towards amoeba what happens to amoeba it tends to swim away from the light so if an amoeba swims away from light of course there is directional meaning is swimming away and away simply means negative you must always know that away is negative then next swimming away is it the entire organism that is moving or just a part is the entire so whole is what taxism so it must end with taxism then the next what stimulus was it responding to is responding to what light so it must be what photo so in this case this is negative photo taxism you get the point and it's just like you having a for example let's say you're having spam spam in the reproductive tract of females now it gets attracted to what to egg and there is a chemical substance but i don't want to go into unnecessary details there's a chemical substance that is secreted by the egg present in the female's body that tends to attract the sperm so it means that the sperm is swimming towards what the egg so a sperm that is swimming towards an egg that is what positive because it's moving towards a stimulus but that chemical substance that is produced by the egg to attract the sperm can i say it's chemo which is the stimulus chemo of course yes because there's chemical substance that is secreted by the egg then next is it taxis is it tropism or is it nastism is it the entire sperm that is swimming or just a part it is the entire sperm hence it should be what chemo taxism or chemo taxis whichever one is correct all right so that's how you tackle questions on this then what about nastism let me break down nastism remember i said that nastism is just giving a response is undirectional is neither towards or away for example we have the money glory the money glory plant now this money glory plant what happens is this now when there is low light intensity the leaves close but as soon as the light intensity is growing up or is becoming very very intense or is getting very very strong it opens but now opening up doesn't mean that it is moving towards or moving away it's just giving a response so hence that kind of a response you call it what nastism you get the point so there's nothing like direction that they're just giving a response so i can say it's what photo nastism why it is responding to what to light just giving a response or you have another that is called 
di mimosa mimosa pudica di mimosa pudica now this mimosa pudica is actually a plant that responds to touch when the, the flowers are actually open the moment you touch the flowers they close so that closing up is not moving away or moving towards it's just giving a response so in that case we will say that it is what nastism and then what kind of response is it giving what kind of a uh, movement pattern is it giving it's actually responding to a particular stimulus known as what touch and touch is called tigmo so i can say that when you touch a mimosa pudica and then it closes you can call it what you can call it tigmo tigmo nastism tigmo means what touch in this case so when you touch it closes up it just gives a response there is nothing like positive or negative remember positive and negative is usually used for directional responses for positive is towards for negative is away always put that in your mind all right so it's with my hope that you've been able to understand this concept of our movement responses in the world of biology now do well to subscribe to this channel or follow if you are yet to do so because our more videos are yet to come your friends are unaware of it let them know about it thanks for watching and stay blessed